of Jesus Christ to every Christian in the world. This is the platform for me to talk to, to every Christian in the world. And say, may the Almighty God bless you. Bless every loved ones. Bless all Christians all over the world. My name is Pastor Corish Gibran, the senior pastor of Mount Zion, Tabarik. Uh, it, it, it is amazing and uh, it breaks my heart to see most of our fathers, most of our uh, uh, fathers in the Lord who are talking against a, a prophet like you. It's a surprising thing and it's amazing. I don't think it is the same heaven that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are that you are also going to. I'm so surprised. I don't really understand the kind of Christianity some of the pastors are practicing. Even at the point of death, the man is no longer in this world. You are still talking against him. You are still criticizing him. You are still against his work. But the one that is surprising me, this is a man that God has been using. Senior prophet T.B. Joshua. This man, his life ministry has always been filled up with criticism. How he started his ministry, who he, 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 he amazed me. I'm so surprised. You are kicking in against this, the work. Are, are you the one that is going to judge him? Are you the God? Okay. Now the man is dead. You are saying he's a wizard. You are saying no manner of thing that you are, you are even happy that now he has left the world. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing thing to me. It's a surprising thing to me. You are not supposed to be called a pastor. What kind of human being are you? You started the pulpit to preach. And you are criticizing your own fellow pastors. It's an error. This is a man who have who, who God have used. Now, to me, I am a pastor. If Satan is using people like this and blessing people like this, I don't think there is error in even in, in, in even giving your own life to Satan. Look at the way the man died. He died well. Look at the way God called him. He finished preaching and went to the house. And after all, look at the message that he was sharing. This is the message from Jesus. The Christian does not consider death to be his end, but the end of his trouble, the end of tribulation. Whether you die young or old, no matter the nature of death, death is sure to come. What matter is the grace to continue living year after? The what? What matter is the grace to continue living year after? This is the same way Elijah was taken off. What a fellow man of God talking against a divine prophet. God has used this man of God to reach life, to reach people, to reach uh, 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 widows, orphans, blessing life. I have not even seen the one that, even if you have done it, why can't you leave the judgment for God? Why can't you leave the judgment for God to judge? I am amazed. I am surprised. Look at them. The other one standing. You are a pastor. I don't want to start to talk. You are a man of God. Look at all the things you have done. You don't have errors. You don't have us. I am so surprised about some, some men of God who had the chance to be in the top, but they call themselves a man of God. I'm so surprised. 
God has been so faithful to prophet TV Joshua. And I believe God is the one that took him home. His work has been completed here on earth. And that is the reason why God called him and God took him back. All we have to be pray about about we that is on earth to do a finishing work that we must finish the great work God has given and put in our hand. Even at the point of death, you are still criticizing the man of God. You are saying the highest witchcraft in the whole world God has taken that man. Huh. It's so amazed. I'm so surprised. I, 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 I'm amazed and I'm, I'm surprised. Shame to some so-called pastors that call themselves a man of God. And I don't want to mention it. I pray, may the good Lord continue to touch your heart. God bless you. Shalom. But I don't know where to start. <laughs> I don't know where to start. We start from here. You were saying, by coming to your midst, in fact, uh, it's just to lay a foundation. I, I am here to lay foundation. That's it. Now, today, we start snug up here. Amen. Amen. After conducting the Sunday service, Prophet T.B. Joshua would usually join the members in the canteen. He serves water to the members. He stands in line to buy his food. <laughs> 